guys. Happy Sunday. I wanted to come on here and show you our quick cooker because I am so obsessed with this quick cooker when you're looking for nice comfort food on a cold night. Although it was a gorgeous day here in Long Island, it's starting to get a little bit cold and I'm starting dinner and I'm like, what am I going to make tonight? I have a package of chicken cutlets, but I didn't know what the heck I was going to do with it. And I said, let me use the quick cooker. If you're not familiar with it, it is an Instapot basically on steroids. And what I love about it is it comes with its own cookbook with all of these gorgeous color recipes. Tomorrow night, I think I'm going to make cheddar broccoli risotto from in here. That's super delicious and easy to make. Tonight, I'm doing the chicken parm pasta because my mom's here and she loves that recipe. And literally dinner on the table in under 30 minutes. And it tastes like a restaurant quality meal. So what I did was the quick cooker has a whole bunch of settings that I want to show you. The first one is sear. When you use that, it's like using a frying pan on the stove top when you just want to saute, sear some onions, vegetables, that kind of thing. So I have in a tablespoon of olive oil. And then what I'm going to do now is I diced up into bite-sized pieces my one pound of chicken cutlets that I had that I didn't know what the heck I was going to do with it. So I'm going to throw them in here. It would be nice if I got us some chef tongs. Hang on one second. Don't move. Did I tell you how much and why I love these chef tongs? Up, they lock. Down, they open. So you're never going to have them jamming in your drawer when you go to pull it open because they popped open because they're locked when you put them away. So they're fabulous and they're silicone. So I'm going to throw in, you're going to hear that sizzle. I'm going to throw in the dice of one pound of chicken cutlets. And I season them with our garlic and herb rub. I love our rubs and seasonings. They're all gluten free now. One is more delicious than the next. So I'm just going to cook this in here for about five to seven minutes. And while it's cooking, I'm just going to tell you a little bit about my quick cooker and why I love it so much. So the first setting is the sear. That's what we have going on here now. We're going to brown the chicken colors. We're not going to cook it all the way through. Hi, Ida. One of your favorite recipes. Okay. So the next setting is steam. You can get a steamer basket for this, and you can steam broccoli and cauliflower and vegetables. Super quick and easy. The next setting is slow cook. It's a slow cooker. You can set it, go after the day, you'll come home, your dinner's gonna be ready. The next thing is proof. That's a really dangerous setting because that means that you can make your own bread in here. Did you ever make a loaf of bread when it comes out warm and delicious and you put the butter on it and it melts? Very dangerous setting because you're going to eat the entire loaf of bread. I'm warning you. Ready? Next setting, chicken and poultry, beef and pork, fish and seafood, soup and stock. I make soup in here all winter long. So easy, instead of having it on the stove top cooking for two to three hours, literally in like 45 minutes. I've done vegetable soups, mushroom barley, chicken soups, you name it. So the next setting is white rice, brown rice, whole grain, beans, stew and chili, and dessert. You can get an insert for this, and you can make cheesecake in no time. You can make puddings in here. Absolutely delicious and so quick and easy. So it really is a lifesaver for people who work full time or if you're out running with the kids and you're running from one activity to the next and you're like, what am I going to make for dinner? Well, you can make something super easy, fast, and delicious. So that's why it's called the quick cooker because you can make dinner really, really quick. And if you're a mom with young kids, and I remember those days, instead of going through the drive-thru, this is going to be a delicious home-cooked meal for a quarter of the price of feeling, feeding a family of four going through the drive-thru, which is not cheap anymore, as you guys know, and not really the healthiest option as well. So it's really quick, hence the quick cooker. So this recipe is super easy. Once this browns, I'm going to throw in two cups of dried pasta one cup of water and then I'm going to put the lid on and it's going to cook for about, it'll come to pressure in about 10 minutes and it cooks for about 15 minutes. Oh, I also throw in my Rayos. If I don't make my own sauce, the only jarred sauce that I will use is Rayos. Off the charts, out of this world, a little expensive, but you can get it on sale in most supermarkets every now and then. 
So I'll throw in the pasta, the water, and the rayos. It'll cook, come up the pressure, it'll cook for about, I don't know, five to 10 minutes. And then the last step is to throw in the shredded mozzarella and the Parmesan cheese, and I'll put the lid back on just so the cheeses melt. And in under 30 minutes, you're gonna have chicken parm pasta. And the last step is, once I plate it, I take some panko breadcrumbs, about a third of a cup, and then I take some melted butter, pour the melted butter over the breadcrumbs, and then just toast them in the microwave for about a minute to two minutes, and you sprinkle the toasted breadcrumbs on top of the chicken parm pasta. So delicious. But I just wanted to share my fabulous quick cooker with you guys because we're always looking for new, creative, easy, quick recipes. And this quick cooker, honestly, will transform your life in the kitchen as a mom or someone that just works. Forget about being a mom. If you just work and you come home and you can have kids, and we always ask ourselves that question, what the heck is for dinner? You will have so many options, and I love that it comes with the cookbook because every single recipe in here is amazing, and you can even Google Instapot recipes and make it in the quick cooker because they all basically have similar settings. So that's what's for dinner in my house tonight, guys. I hope you have a great rest of your weekend. I'm going to share the um, result in the comments. I'll show you guys a picture, and I just wanted to come on here and chat for a little bit. So have a great rest of your weekend. Bye.